Kings, queens, traditional authorities, opposition leaders, and Namibians from all ethnic groups gathered at Omhede, close to the Angolan border last weekend to pay tribute to King Mandume Yadimufayo in one of the most important reconciliatory and commemorative events of the last century. Thousands of people, including our founding father, Dr. Sam Nyoma, former president, Dr. Hifike Punye Puhamba, and current president, Dr. Hagi Gainkop, joined in the unifying spirit of the event. I'm happy to be part of this inclusive gathering. It is pleasing to witness the presence of managers from all different ethnic groups who have traveled from far and wide. The vibrant crowd remained transfixed throughout the ceremony, commemorating the death of King Mandume. An important part of the four-day ceremony was the unveiling of a statue of the legendary Mandume, who died on 6 February 1917. Today, we are in to pay tribute to the legendary icon, a visionary leader. King Mandume is remembered for his resistance to the colonial forces, his strong value system, as well as the reforms he implemented to unite his people. These included the protection of women and the rights of the poor. He was even addressing the issues that were battling today. There is nothing wrong but belonging to a tribe. There is nothing wrong to belong to a race. What is wrong is when you use that race or tribe to say you are the best. If we encourage the practice of attending each other's gatherings and singing each other's songs, then soon we'll be able to create a national dance, a national song, and a national culture. Mandume was an adolescent in 1911 when he ascended to the throne at 17 after the death of his uncle Nande, who had no sons to succeed him. It was a tumultuous time in the north, with the kingdom split by borders drawn up by European powers, a history of war with the Portuguese in Angola, where three quarters of the Okwanyama people live, conflict with the Union of South Africa soldiers who occupied Namibia in World War I, and a people struggling after years of drought. At the end of his final battle, Mandume is believed to have taken his own life, rather than fall into enemy hands, ending his short reign of only six years. His body is said to have been taken into Angola and his head buried at the Ovambu Campaign Memorial in Vintuk. The best way we as Namibians can honor these heroes is by emulating their outstanding qualities, such as Moral Today, the Okwanyama Kingdom is once again recognized, ruled by Ohamba Yovakwanyama Nelumbu, Queen of Ovakwanyama. Namibia has come a long way in the last hundred years. It has fought for democracy, gained its independence, and ushered in an era of unity and peace. The centenary commemoration is a tribute not only to Mandume, but for all those who sacrificed their lives and paved the way for freedom. You can't move forward if you do not know where you come from. But don't stay in the past. Know the past and go forward.